Yo, what is up, my knights of the round table? Welcome back to Music Night with the Knight. We get another Alex the one, 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 the one song. This is the Jim Carrey Cypher? Now, this is not requested by anybody. I had to react to this because I fucking love Jim Carrey. I love Jim Carrey's movies. I've seen over a dozen of them. My favorite is The Mask. Um, so I'm really excited to see this. It's a diehard Jim Carrey fan. I'm very excited to see this. Alrighty then! Can I have a breath mint? Laces out! Like a glove! It's a loose to hurt! Here we go, baby! There's that man! It ain't no sickness, baby! Can't make the scene if you don't have the green! Smoke it! I love the mask so much. I, I worship that movie. It is. Yeah, baby! Oh, Lloyd. Kick his ass, see bass. Here you go. Oh, God, the Riddler. Joy, guys, um, Rice. Oh, God. I love Batman Forever just because of Jim. And, and Val. Nah, the mask. Ain't, ain't nobody fucking with the mask. Yeah. Here's a good one. I'm sorry. I'm talking over everybody. But I love Jim Carrey. I gotta do these quotes. Cable get My lips is gone. Do I pull a hamstring? Oh, the Grinch. I like this little impression here. There's a light on this tree that just won't light. Hate, 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 hate. Loathe entirely. Oh, the loony snakes. Neverland, oh god, right? It's been years since I've seen that movie. Oh, the 27 or 25, what was that movie? Twenty-three. There we go. Love that movie. Oh, the Ebenezer Scrooge. I remember this. I remember seeing this in 3D. Yeah, 
<laughs> Merry Christmas! Mr. Poppers! Mr. Poppers! No, I'm not Mr. Poppers! Where's Lyra Lyra at? Oh, uh, Burt Ward? What was this movie? I remember this movie, yeah. He put a nail in his head. Okay, they kick ass too. Kick it in the ass, I get it. It's been so long since I've seen that movie. I didn't like it as much as the first one. But I did love Jim Carrey's character. Oh, fucking Robotnik. I trip in the game. Time for the breakdown. I just gotta say, I fucking love that. As a diehard Jim Carrey fan, dude, I fucking love this. I'm like, I, I love it. I just love it. I love it so much. I love it. It's so beautiful. Magnifique. Alrighty then. Ace Ventura's catchphrase. Before the show begins, I gotta ask a question. Excuse me. Uh, I can't, I can't hold him back here. Ace does a thing where he talks out of his ass, quite literally. And so I gotta ask you a question. I gotta ask you a question. A little, little word flip. Oh, can you loan a mint? That was one of the quotes in the movie when he was talking through his ass. Can I have a mint? I see your bases now. I see your bases now. That's when you. That's when you hold your grip. You hold your grip. You put, your laces. put the laces. Put the laces out. That was like the main theme of the bad guy. And Ace Ventura, no spoilers, but that was like the whole thing was laces. The laces were in, they went out. You're supposed to, I think you're supposed to kick with, you're supposed to kick with the laces out, and the laces were in to feel a uh, go to win, to feel to go to win, a feel go to win. That was the win for the Dolphins. They needed was a field go and a field go to win. I never get the feeling that I might give up. I want that shirt because I'm fitting. Because I'm fitting in this synergy. Just like a glove. That was one of the things in Ace Ventura 2. Uh, was he was driving the um, van. I can't remember what you call it. He was driving the van. And he flipped it multiple times. And he parked it. And he went like a glove. Ah! Ah! Sorry. Fucking stepping on the sacred thing. No animals, my enemy. Ace Ventura loves animals. But he does not like bats. You got the same dick energy. Dick. That was that was one thing that was in the movie. I can't remember which one. Just like a bug. He had bugs in his teeth in one of the scenes. Preposterous. Illogical. I'm turning feral as a possum is, or a fair rule. As a possum is, possums are fair rule. And it, it, Ace is a little crazy. I want that shirt right there. You need a barrel just to pop a fish. You need a pop. You shooting fish in a barrel means it's easy. So you're saying he's saying that these guys have it easy. You need a barrel just to pop a fish. That's fucking wordplay, and that's layered. I got a lot to dish out. Try not to miss, cause I'm the shit from a fucking rhinoceros. He got he was in a he was in a fake rhinoceros, and this fam went out, and he was uh, suffocating in heat. So he had to come out of the ass end of the fake rhinoceros, and they thought it was a rhinoceros giving birth. 
Paid to unlock the mysteries. That was literally what he was paid for. He did show up the cops a lot. And by the way, the bug line was in Ace Ventura 1. Now that I've seen this scene, I remember. He put that dude's face right by a roach he stepped on. He said, kiss and make up. Defer is a loser. That was another one of Ace's things. Here comes the man with the biggest dick energy, the fucking goat, the greatest of all fucking time, the best of the best, the best Jim Carrey movie, I take no flack, The Mask Smokin'. Oops, sorry, wrong pocket. Uh, French Poodle. Sorry, son, the dog was rabbit, had to be put down. And my personal favorite, a Tommy Gun. With these powers, I could be a superhero! Protector of the crime, protector of the innocent. Fight for world peace! But first... I've seen that movie dozens of times, even though I kind of fucked up the quote. I can't remember which order he said, uh, protect the innocent, fight for world peace, and it's up my crime. I can't remember that part. I've seen that movie probably a hundred, I've seen The Mask probably a hundred times, like, no joke. Like, I'm, I'm not joking, I've probably seen it a hundred times. Um... Look, Ma, I'm roadkill. Ha, ha, ha. You're good, kid, real good. But next to me, you always be second best, see? I, I just fucking love the mask. So, I, 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 biasly, I'm going for the mask. I'm sorry, everybody. You should, Whoever wanted to win this, who wanted to be my favorite in the cypher, you had to play the mask, so I gotta go with my boy Steel. Now, knock, 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 opened up, it's Ipkiss, Stanley Ipkiss was the character that owned the mask. One, two, three, four, you better, watch your... One, two, three, four, better watch your lips kiss, watch our lips kiss, Ipkiss, lips kiss, he kissed, um, what was Cameron Diaz's character name, fuck, I wanna say it was Tina. There was Peggy, that was the reporter, I wanna say it was Tina? I can't remember her last name. Like, that's what I can't remember. I remember her first name. Her first name was Tina. I can't remember her Did they even mention her last name in that movie? Let me look it up. I uh, know. I'll say I've seen this movie. I worship this movie. And I can't remember the, the love interest's main name. Uh, the Mask. Tina. What was her last name? Yeah, Tina was her name. What was her fucking last name? Tina Carlisle. Carlisle. There we go. Carlisle. There we go. Tina Carlisle. I think it was mentioned in a newspaper. Uh, I could not remember her name for the life of me, last name for the life of me. I remember her name was Tina. I just couldn't remember her fucking last name. So yeah, a lip kiss, he kisses Tina. Green in the face, but ain't a sickness when you get sick, you know, in cartoons, movies, whatever, your face turns green for comical purposes. Uh, and his face is green. Because of the mask. But ain't a sickness, just, some just some lost lug nuts. Hang on to your lug nuts, it's time for an overhaul! He did that to the, uh... Mechanics who kind of screwed him over, and they did scream over in the movie. He shoved mufflers up their ass. In the book, in the comic book, though, he fucking murdered them. <laughs> yeah, in the book was like a lot more brutal. Now my mind's a quick split. Yeah, it's split personality, quite literally. The mask is a, in a separate entity. Oh, I need my ID. Check it out, all my pockets. Because I went, because I guess I went on a spree. So uh, to get in the. Um, Coco Bongo, he had to get, he had to have ID, you had to be a certain, you know, it's like, a, it's like a big club, you gotta be a celebrity. So what the mask did was he robbed the bank that Stanley worked at, and he just threw like thousands of dollar bills in the air and said, here is my ID. Can't make the scene if you don't have the green. I gotta make a little stop. All I know is the party. That's all the mask wants to do, man. He wants to party. Hey! Chick chicky boom chick chick chicky boom I'm having so much fun with this but I'm having I'm I'm fucking having the time of my life I won't flee because I'm one of a kind yes he is a living cartoon character he's invincible running on my own time watch this draw draw party he drops his jaw like uh the cartoon I can't remember that cartoon's name that's an older cartoon riding like a champion he is a champion he's the goat he's the goat I'm a stud baker guy. He's a stud, bro. Got more so got more suits than clothes. Clothes, my bad. Guess I'm feeling so fly. He's feeling fly. He's feeling fresh, bro. He's got them clothes. He dripping. He got the Gucci, the Armani. He look. Wait, let me go back. 
I would love to wear that for Halloween. I'd fucking love it. Let me make a quick joke. P E A R T. Why? Cause I gotta. Party. When I put the mask on, everything is so clear. When you put the mask on, he becomes a different guy. It brings out the most repressed parts of you. Thank you, Simon. Move on, everyone. Give a cheer. Because we all about to carry every single career. I carry, play on Jim Carrey's career. And the mask is one of the Jim's biggest roles. Lloyd. Lloyd Christmas. I got worms. Harry! Time out! The, the blind kid? Yeah. Yeah. Harry, I took care of it. A few baseball cards, sack of marbles. Oh, Petey! That's Lloyd Christmas. I'm a present. I'm a present from Christmas. Lloyd Christmas is Christmas is his last name. He's I'm a present from Christmas. I'm a gift. Christmas, sipping, on sipping on Swanson. He's he he simps for Swanson. I can't remember her name. I can't remember her first name, but her last name was Swanson. Um, he simps for her. He you know he worships her. He wants her. Swanson, rolling, with. rolling with Harry. He rolls with his best friend Harry. Harry situation getting Harry. He flipped Harry and Harry twice. Getting Harry. Getting you know. Crazy. I'm a Slim Jim. He loves Slim Jims. He eats Slim Jims a lot. Um, uh, especially in the gas station scene. Big gulps, huh? Alrighty then. Take care. But I... I'm a Slim Jim, but I carry. Jim Carrey. It's a play on the actor's name, Jim Carrey. And he carries. He carries everybody. Oh my God, so scary. I'm on a mission to marry. Was her name Mary? Was her name Mary uh, Swanson? Like a tractor beam. Suck me right in. I'm on a mission to marry. Was her name Mary, by the way? I can't remember. I can't remember her first name. But yeah, he wanted to marry her. He wanted to be with her, but he didn't. She was married. Spoiler alert. I've been the cream of the crop. I've been top of the game, even though the mask is above you, man. I'm sorry. No cherry. I'm the cream of the crop. No cherry. You know, this is like ice cream, milkshakes. You know, you put the cherry on top. Thank you, a bully. Acting like Seabass like C- 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 was a bully. Seabass C- was an asshole. Kick his ass, Seabass! C- Go to a happy place. He's not a threat. Not a threat so, I so I see him pass, Seabass. I see him pass. He passes, Seabass. You're trash, god dang. I think he said god dang in the movie. I have a rash. Was that something in... I think that was something in the sequel. I've seen the first one when I have the, the the sequel with Jim Carrey. Not the prequel, but the sequel. There's three of them. He had a lot of cash that he stole from Swanson. It was um, hostage money. What's the bribe? Not bribe. Uh... Ransom. There we go. Ransom. There we go. I got the word. We're gonna crash, Harry, watch them, we're gonna crash. crash. <laughs> Trick, twick, or twee. Trick. Does anybody else feel like a bright egg? This is my brain on the box. This is your brain on the box. By the way, that's never gonna heal if you don't start picking. Or stop picking. You're supposed to understand. I'll make you understand. Social security numbers, bank codes, into my head they'll go. Bank codes, social securities, sexual fantasies, and little white lies. Victory is inevitable for if... What was the saying again? For if knowledge is power, then a god am Was that over the top? I can never tell. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> riddle. I love Rice Records singing voice. I say that every time. Riddle me this. Riddle me that. Who's afraid of the big black bat? Can Batman and Bruce Wayne ever coexist? Let's find out today. But first, let's meet our contestants. 
getting rid of all the fat, trim the fat, trim the, you know, the non-necessaries, you know, the dead weight. I'm the number one up in Gotham. He's like, I'm the number one in Gotham. Never let the baddie stop him. I mean, no, he didn't die. Because when I shout, I rock him, pop, lock it, and drop it. Uh, the bird, he would twist it, lock it, and drop it, and it would explode. And you suck my battleship! I'm a bigger bad, I'm the big bad, I'm the bang villain. Then all these Jimbos, you can call somebody Jim and Jimbos, and fun fact, the Riddle, or Joker calls Jim Gordon Jimbo a lot. Not like the new one, though. Make you sad, but not like, not like the new one, though. Are you referencing Paul Dano's Riddler? You know, the more sadder version and that Jim Carrey commented on. Yeah, yeah, in the end of the movie, he wore a sparkly suit well, that was white and green. Kind of cool. Uh, I don't care for the hairdo. Uh, but yeah, he's like, I'm wearing diamonds like ice. Half of Two-Face ain't nice. You know, he teamed up with Two-Face and half of Two-Face ain't nice. Two-Face ain't nice, but watch me now. But watch me now. I'm in. Watch me now in skin tights. He wore, you know, he wore a leotard. He wore a leotard. There's no other way around it. He did the limp, but he played with the cane a lot. Cable guy. Cable guy, what's wrong? I just want to hang out. No big deal. Hello, Steve. I can't do. I can't do his list. I can't. Hello, Steve. It's your best friend. You know, he wanted to be Steve's best friend. You know, he didn't have friends, you know, you know, his name's Chip, or Ernie Douglas Jr., and that even is his real name, which is not. Spoiler. But, um, he, he wanted friends, you know, his only friend was the TV. That's what they did to hang out, you know, they sat on the set a lot. And in the movie, they played basketball. I don't want to pull a hamstring. Jack Black, that was like one of Jack Black's first movies, I think. Uh, Robin's got a new boyfriend. Robin's got a new boyfriend. So, to make Steve happy, Steve had recently broken up with his girlfriend, or might even divorced, might have been his wife, or fiance. I think she was, I think she was his fiance, and they broke up, and she had a new boyfriend. I think that was Owen Wilson, but it's been a while since I've seen the movie, so don't judge me. Uh, uh, he <laughs> chipped to make him, you know, he knew Steve wanted Robin. And so he took out the boyfriend. In the bathroom stall. No trouble, really. No trouble, really. I can't remember what uh, impression he was. That looks like Owen Wilson. I think that was Owen Wilson. Let's play. Yeah, like these are kind of self explanatory since the video's kind of showing it. Perfectionist, I'm kind of one. Yeah, he's very. He's a very perfectionist when it comes to installing cable. He always puts it in the perfect spots. From 99 to 1, those were the uh, those were all the channels back then, and he was giving Steve all the channels, even the even the dirty ones. <laughs> now I'm truly loving what we have. He wanted Steve to be his best friend, <laughs> and I'd be knowing that it's oh so real. Oh, so real. I... Play Mortal Kombat with a friend in Vietnam. I just want to hang out. No big deal. He thought they were best friends, and you know that was a quote from the movie. It was actually one of Steve's nightmares. This was not real. This was a nightmare. Just the Grinch. This is my mom's favorite. Sorry, I had to text my brothers. So this is my mom's favorite. But I, I, the Grinch is one of, one of, if not my favorite Christmas movie, and probably because I love Jim Carrey. Ha huh? no ha yeah, yeah. ha. Max, fix me my sedative. Junk mail, jury duty, jury duty, poke pink, pink slip, pink, jury duty, jury duty, pink slip. No, no more. My if I wet my whistle? <sighs> it's because I'm green, isn't it? The Grinch. I love like Talon's actually did an impression. Back to your Christmas. This was 
This was all his go, all of his estimation. He wanted to ruin Christmas. It ain't really Christmas he hated, it was more people. He broke into the homes a lot. He took all their presents, took the tree, took the stockings, took their food. He even took the last can of hoo hash. I mean, I, Grinch doesn't like anybody, to be fair. He wanted the... I can't remember her name. Uh, Marv... Was it Marva Mayhew? No, that was the mom, wasn't it? No, it was Betty. That was Marva May, I think. It was Marva May. That's who Grinch had a crush on. It was Marva May who. 100%. My mom's gonna kill me if I don't get this right. Down by a size and a half! These are all kind of self-explanatory if you've seen The Grinch. Man, he hates Christmas. Oh, I really love Talon's impression of, of The Grinch, by the way. I gotta, that's top-notch, man. I love the little extra effort you put in. Uh, Mr. Bruce Nolan. This is from Bruce Almighty. Far Before Grey. Grey Nolan. Who the fuck's Grey Nolan? Better set back lest you aren't for decay. Better set back lest you aren't for decay. Um... He has the powers of God. Uh, do I need to say more? <laughs> what he can do to you? I was literally God. I mean, yeah, he literally had the powers of God, a.k.a. Morgan Freeman. He better separate even the soup knew. You know, he parted the soup. Um, like Moses parted... Uh, river. What, what river was it? Well, he parted the Red Sea, not the river, but he parted the Red Sea. And by the way, the Red Soup, Red Sea. Even ba even Baxter, I'm not one for it. Didn't he star in the sequel, Evan Almighty? I'm not one for poo -poo chat. I poo -poo chat. Offing the troops who chat. Redecorate changing, the Redecorate changing the truth to cap. He took out his competition, man. The power and the girl, you know, he's got um, Jennifer Aniston. I think it was Jennifer Aniston. I just love, I love Bruce Almighty. He literally has the power of God, so he's just flexing right now. Call me Mr. Exclusive, he was a news reporter. My sister Delusive. Wait, what did he say? My sister Delusive. You'll know my name and power in the world. Mr. Exclusive, I promise I'm at you, sister. Your sister Delusive, okay. All harm will be patched. You know, he did try to fix his mistakes he caused with the powers of God. The sleuth is all withdrawn. Ain't a surface to scratch. You ain't in my lawn. Oh, did he say youth in my lawn? Uh, this damn line right here fucks me up. Any youth in my lawn? We'll surely get dispatched. Yeah, he don't like people in his lawn, I think. Uh, with the sleuth, he might have been poking a shot at Ace Ventura there. Let me sneak it. I can't remember his fucking name. Count Olaf, I think his name was. I've seen this movie twice. So don't expect that much for me to break it down. David was... My brother David was the bigger fan. He had the, he had the books. He was a scheming motherfucker. <laughs> like, this dude had the big brain plays. He was a little bit creepy, too. Y'all just memes. Y'all are just... You're, you're jokes, basically. I'm out here getting the fucking cream. I'm out here getting the dough, getting the cheddar, getting the macaroni, bologna, pepperoni. In the crib, killing, orphans killing orphans like the promise never, the promise never land. land. So, I think in the original Peter Pan, he murdered the kids. That's why they never grew old. Uh, never Never Land was a pretty fucking dark place. You got murdered. So, he's murdering orphans. That was what Peter Pan did <laughs> in the original book. But these souls ain't flying. Yeah, they're not gonna fly. Fly with me, Wendy! I'm cleaning clocks. She's gonna fuck you up. Cleaning somebody's clock, you're gonna fuck them up. You got the sod off. I don't get the joke because I've not seen the movie in a while, but I know you're hinting at a joke. I know you're hitting at a joke in the movie. So please explain that to me because, like I've said, I I've seen this movie twice. 
and I was very young both times. I was seven, and then I was eleven or twelve. I think I was twelve. Okay, that's a that's a comic book bar. I can break that one down. Beating bitches with crowbars like Jason Todd. Jason Todd got beaten with the crowbar by the Joker. Jason Todd was the second Robin, taking after Dick Grayson. Uh, he got beat to death with a crowbar and blown up in a warehouse after his mother sold him out. Or letting these bitches die from COD. Call of Duty? <laughs> it's only COD I know. Or no, no, there's a fish. I'm a chameleon with the facade. He's a master of disguise. Always bringing fire, Prometheus. Prometheus was a Greek mythology. He gave the humans fire and was punished by Zeus. Borderless, I'm the demon. Damn. We got Shadow Knight here, my my rival. Dinkelberg. Sorry. And no, I actually love Shadow Knight. I just think it's funny, like, when... I'm the knight, and I react to another knight. I always try to make it a little funny. Ah, we got we got beef, but there actually isn't none. I've I've had some people actually think I have a problem with them. No, it's all jokes. <laughs> Don't take anything I say seriously, please. Otherwise, you're never gonna have fun here. Ow, damn it! Face the number twenty-three. This was he was a serial killer. Spoiler alert! And he was obsessed with the number twenty-three. I I, I kind of spoiled the movie. <laughs> I'm sorry. But that was kind of a spoiler to begin with. So basically, he, he, he forgets, loses his memory, something along those lines. I've seen this movie once. Uh, and he starts getting obsessed with this book somebody left. But actually, and, and like, you know, this dude was a serial killer, except obsessed with the number 23. And it later finds out that it was him all along. Blew my mind. This was like one of Jam's like first like really dark roles, I think. I skipped some of these broads, they call me Fingerlet. They call me fingerling, get so many bras, call me fingerling. Um, this is kind of self explanatory. He's real cutthroat. Sparrows at large. Walter Sparrow, that's my name. It's a play on his name. And I wrote the book, like, literally, I just said, you know, he wrote the book. He wrote the book, forgot he wrote the book, or law, he, something along those lines, he blocked it out. What from A control? Went from A control to be guilty. He went from a. I can't remember what his profession was. Was it a detective? Like, like I said, I've seen this movie once. But I remember really loving it. I just never see it on anymore. Like, I don't see it on any streaming services. I just cannot find this movie. I want to watch it again. Um, he, he became a serial killer. Rather right about this guy turned out to be a killer. Yeah, yeah he, was a de he was a detective. He was obsessed with this guy. Turns out he was the guy. True Daredevil. What the fuck? True Daredevil, man's a real thriller. It's a thriller! But was my whole new life well, just, a just a filler? Kind of. He wrote on those pillars and everywhere a lot. Days, <laughs> oh, Lloyd Batura! Okay, what's up, man? I recently reacted to yours. I actually reacted to you in a cipher. I did. I don't know why I became I uh, became Irish. I don't know. I don't know why. But, yeah, he was in I Just Be Rapping Cypher, and I remember having a lot of fun with his verse, so I'm excited to see, I'm excited to see more Pretoria here. I really loved his, uh, villain Cypher. Oh, my dear. I loved his, I loved his goblin voice. He voiced the Green Goblin, if you didn't know. Fuck happiness. Fuck happiness. Well, I used to think, uh, I, uh, well, you, uh, my throat's, my mouth's dry, so I get tongue-tied. Well, I used to think like that. He used to think that. Like, you know, Scrooge, everybody knows the tale of Scrooge. He hated Christmas. He's visited by three ghosts. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have to explain this to you, damn it. <laughs> Quit judging me for getting tongue tied. <laughs> I'm a professional, damn it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not. <laughs> well, I used to think like that. Okay. Here's something more important than money life. 
he was greedy and narcissistic. Yes, he was obsessed with wealth. That was all he thought he needed. But no, you need family. You need to cherish the life you're given. That was kind of the takeaway from uh, Christmas Carol. He didn't have no empathy. He fucking... He was mean to Tiny Tim, who had a disability. I went to the past, I want to be a present to the world. So these are the reference to Scrooge getting visited by three ghosts. One of ghosts of Christmas past, the ghost of Christmas present, the ghost of Christmas future. Um, so, you know, I want to go to the past, I want to be a present to the world, I want to be a gift to the world, but it's also a reference to the ghost of Christmas past, Christmas future, Christmas present. A little layer bar there, I respect it, I respect that Lloyd, I see you out here! And create a future where I can help. Once again, these are references to the Ghost of Christmas Past, Christmas Present, and Christmas Future. Because I don't want to be a Grinch. Scrooge and the Grinch are kind of like the poster boys for hating Christmas, along with Krampus. I don't want to be a grumpy little bitch. I mean, you kind of were. I want to be rich with the love of my loved ones. So, he, Scrooge really thought he just wanted to be rich. But no, he realized he just wants to be, there's other ways to be rich. You can be rich with the loved of your loved ones. And that's something he didn't have. He didn't have loved ones, you know? Well, Sounds hella cringe. No, it's poetic. It's beautiful. It's good to grow, man. Keep growing. Want to grow on. But you know what? I don't care. That's right. A new man. Now I've been recalled. So... Funny story, uh, hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll even finish this verse. I'll tell the funny story in a minute. A Christmas to you all. That was that was the ending of the book. So, my funny story is, I went and saw this, I think it came out in 2010. It came out in 3D. I went and saw it in a the theater with 3D glasses. And I look over, I went with my mom, my dad, my older brother, David, who you've seen on this channel and heard me mention numerous times. David was my big brother. Um... I look over to David, and David fucking fell asleep in the theater. <laughs> like, David, like, once the lights went out, he just, he was just like, with the 3D glasses on, he's just out. <laughs> Pippers, Pop, Mr. Popper's Penguin, that was like one of, like, that and Yes Man were like, like Jim's last movies for a while. Mr. Pop, Pokey Posse. Mr. Popper, Pokey Posse, fuck up your posse, fuck up your squad. <laughs> Penguin pecking pricks. Penguins peck you, and you're a prick. You're a dick. You pissed and pot me. A penguin peed on him. Piss the pen on the Park Avenue. You plastered use. Your peeps all peaked. Your peeps all peaked. Polar peak, North Peak, where penguins live. Squad froze. You sold cold. Sold cold pedigree. Okay. So, penguins love the ice. I love the cold, man. We got step ball. We got moose step ball on Happy Feet. Happy Feet was a penguin movie about a dancing penguin. Surf's Up is better. And the video game was. I used to play that shit all the time. I love the rooster. Open doors for the fam. Now I smile. Now smile, I see. Try me, buddies. Make you taste defeat. Yeah, he rolls with the squad, bro. Cap on, like, it like, goes fast, man. Cap on popper. Get popped by the captain. You cap, you cap on me, you're gonna get capped. You're gonna get... Get sprayed. Chopper loudly block woke. Chopper loudly, these are gum bars. These are gun bars. When we blast in stink tracks, they jealous. We blast it on tracks, they're jealous. When we're on the when we're on the beat, they're jealous because they're jealous of our rapping skills. Ops, they bitey, but don't want the action. The ops will talk trash, but they won't. They don't want no smoke. They're all they're all barking no bite. Feeling love. Oh no, failing lovey dovey shit. Y'all been on sliding at your camp. Like we were in COD, you slide in Call of Duty. Uh, Nimrod causing chaos. Causing chaos. Nimrod was like one of the penguins' name because he was not bright. Uh, the Incredible Burt Ward is what I want to say, or Burt Wonderstone. Burt Wonderstone, not Burt Ward. Burt Ward was the actor that played Robin. Fuck. <laughs> My bad. It was Burt Wonderstone. The Incredible Burt Wonderstone. There we go. But that was not the character he played. I just I don't remember his name. 
but yeah, he, he was a magician. He did more extreme tricks. He was like the Chris Angel of the movie. And you know I'm always dissing, and you know I'm throwing that fire. Don't eat, no, he threw fire. And I think, I think he's doing a, if I remember his voice correctly, whoever is, who's doing this, Lil Blake, he's doing a really good impression. If I remember his voice correctly. Always dissing, always, you know, you're dissing in a rap, you know, you're talking shit about him. You know I'm throwing that fire. Throwing that fire, spit fire on a track, you know, this, you know, that kind of goes hand in hand. He literally burned half his birthday on his hand with a candle. Can't handle the heat. Your magic six feet under, your magic's dead. Like a dead man. Punch in the face, that was nothing. He did get punched in the face and he was fine. Red Hot Coals. I'm feeling something. He laid on red hot coals. Drill in. That was something. He drilled a hole in his head. That was... It fucked up his mind a little bit. But in the end... Is this your card? He was a very violent magician. Kenos is here. I can't remember. It was something patriotic, I think. It was Captain Major or something like that. Sorry, it was something like that. I want to say Colonel, maybe. It looked like a Colonel badge. I can't really tell. He was in Kick-Ass 2. I think he's doing actually a really good impression here. I remember how he sounded. He had like a deeper voice like that. Let's try to have fun. If not, what's the point? Knocking your doors and security joints. He knocked to the floor. Getting up no more. He fucked him up, basically. He don't kill people, though, because he used to be like a mafia hitman, torture or something like that. He don't do that no more. Because that language I cannot ignore. You, you know, don't... Language! Captain America. I'm kicking his ass, kicking his ass, kick ass, reference to where he's coming from. I'm killing this track, I never need guns. Yeah, he does not use guns, he rejects all firearms. I got my bat. This is, this is, I don't know if this was an intentional bar, but Batman does not like fire weapons. It's like, does not like firearms. He does not like guns. And neither does this character. And I've got my bat. I don't know if that was an intentional bar, so... Bravo! Bravo, good man! Bravo! Bravo! Blocking your vision like Minecraft. Flag, yo, flag to your face. How about that? You know, he's got the flag right there. Blocking, blurring your vision like Minecraft. That, that, that can happen in Minecraft. Got a home run like it make it I make it rain. Got a home run make it rain. This reference to a bat. You hit a home run make it rain dollars. Or or all your guns get a complaint. So he's he's okay. That gun's not loaded. He he didn't he doesn't do that. So it's not loaded. It's for scare tactics. Stopping his profit. I'm taking his money. The camo a rocket. It's not even funny. Jim Carrey, these goofies, I Jim Carrey them. They just some weak dummies. I'm meeting up beats like vitamin gummies. I'm meeting up these beats like vitamin gummies. Here we go, we got Robotnik. Of course I want a latte! I love the way you make them! A poor substitute for intelligence. The whole reason I watched the Sonic movie was just, was just from Jim Carrey. I'm not ashamed to admit that I don't care for Sonic. I watched it for Jim Carrey, just like I want to watch the sequel for Jim Carrey. I fucking love Jim Carrey, guys. If you couldn't tell by this fucking 40 minutes an hour video of a six minute song of me just doing Jim Carrey quotes, I fucking love the man. Love his work, man. Favorite, he's my favorite actor. Put up the spot with my bots. Robotnik had bots he controlled like on his gloves. I thought that was really cool. Big shot who the boss. You know, he, he was talking to the... I can't remember what rank he was. Uh, he's like, I'm in charge here. It's me, don't clap back. Don't clap at him. Don't, don't, don't fight him, basically. Don't clap. Hey, run up your block. I got all the sauce. I got the drip. Got the sauce. Got the bots. Got it all, baby. Bitch, I floss with the bat. Like, I bitch, I floss like the backpack. The backpack kid invented the floss, even though it was stated he didn't. It was rumored he didn't actually. Kid, I ain't comparing. I'm big with the brains. I got big brain. Like the coat I'm wearing. 
I drip in the game. I got that drip. You the second drippiest. Mask is the number one drippiest. You second drippiest. You get the swag, but you ain't got that level of swag. Sure, I'd be mad, a little deranged. Yeah, he's a little crazy. But it ain't a fad that been that I've been insane. It's not fake that I've been insane. Me and you, me and you, we too vast to quantify. He's calling you basic. That's how you qualify. That's how you qualify your basic. You're a basic bitch. I've been and out, so we're gonna modify. Coming towards me, come toward, coming toward me, like what? Do you wanna die? You come towards me, you're gonna die. It's a death wish. Best knuckle up, cause we got a new crew knuckles right there. Played by Edris Elba. I'll fuck you up by going right through you. I'm gonna go right through you, man. Dance on your bitches, I'm back with a new groove. I'm back with a new groove. This was Jim Carrey's comeback role, was Robotnik. Too many switches, now I got me, now I got some screws loose. Too many switches, like, now I got some screws loose, I'm crazy. 12 out of fucking 10. This is a masterpiece, damn it. I will not take any other comments. It's a masterpiece. A work of art. It belongs in a museum. I really hope Jim Carrey can see this, so... As you know, I love this. I love all of this. I, I, I love it. I, 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 I admire it. I'm a diehard Jim Carrey fan. Jim Carrey is my favorite actor and he always will be. I would love to meet him someday. Um, I grew up VCR is I grew up watching The Mask, Liar Liar, Dumb and Dumber. Um, I watch, as I got older, Pop Mr. Popper's Penguins, Yes Man, 23, Bruce Almighty, uh, Sonic, Ah, Christmas Carol, The Grinch, Cable Guy, uh, Me, Myself, and Irene. A lot of movies. I've seen a lot of his movies. A lot. I just love Jim Carrey. So, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Go check out Alex the One. Go check out Rice Records. Go, go, go check out Pure Chaos Music. Let's see. Let's give everybody a shout out here. Whoever had the idea for a Jim Carrey cipher, I fucking love you. Right, Pure Chaos Music doing a really good Jim, like doing a really good Ace Ventura. Uh, Steel, the boy Steel is the mask. I gotta go with the mask. I cannot betray the mask in any circumstances. I'm sorry. I'm biased. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't betray the mask. I can't. It's not my nature. Uh, Sonic. Sonic Koi. Sonic Ko? No, Sonic Ikoi. There we go. My bad. My bad. Sonic Eco or Sonic Ikoi. Am I, am I saying that right? I butcher names. <laughs> Rice Records, you're doing a fucking great Riddler. Sound of the Rain. That is a fucking badass name. You retract your own nose. Talent music, doing a really good Grinch impression. Everybody gets their shout out, bro. For, if you drop some fire like this, you get a shout out. Midnight. I'm gonna say that's fucking midnight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a shot in the dark. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. The Wu Tang guy. Wu Tang. Sorry. I like, I like Wu Tang. I can like Wu Tang. Shadow Knight, my fellow Knight. Brother in Arms. Pator Lloyd. Next level. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Lil Blake. Kanos. Kanos, my bad. And of course, Alex, the one, the one, the one, the one, the one, the one. I want to do that every time. So, go check him out. Go like. Go subscribe to him. 
Go show them some love because they absolutely killed it here. And I love all of them for bringing this dream cipher to life. This is this is this is the pre my precious. This is my precious right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna love this cipher to the day I die. I'm adding it to my playlist. It's gonna be at the top of my playlist. So thank you all so much for watching. I've rambled too long. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you. Alrighty then. In the next one. Ha ha ha!